So how do you do the Babylonian method for converting from denary numbers to binary? Well, let's take a number like, well, let's take the number 13 in base 10. We need to be able to divide by 2. That's all we need to know and be able to tell whether a number is odd or even. That's all we need to do to be able to do the binary method the Babylonian way. Well, what we do is we draw a little grid and we ask these questions of the numbers. We ask the question first of all of 13, is it odd or even? Well it's odd so we put a stroke there and we take away a 1 because we put the 1 there you see so that leaves us with 12 here doesn't it? And we can write that little down there as a 12 we divide that by 2, remember you need to be able to divide by 2, and we get a 6, and we write that in there. Now 6 is even, so put a 0 there, there's no need to take, well we can take that away from 6, but we left with 6. So now we take 6 and we divide 6, which is here, by 2, and we get 3. Now 3 is definitely odd. And we've written the 1 there, so we're going to get a little 2 here, aren't we? But we're going to divide that 2 by 2, and we're going to get a 1. And we know that 1 is odd. And when we take 1 away from 1, we're going to get a 0. So now we're ended. We're finished. We're going to turn this tile, because that's what they used to do on canvas, or canvas, on clay tablets. They turn the tablet around clockwise, so we're going to turn it this way around, right, that way around, and what we get is a 1, a 1, a 0, and a 1. And of course that's base 2. Now if we find the place values, this is a 1, and this is a 2, there's no 2's, and this is a 4, and this is an 8. 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 12 plus 1, which is indeed 13. So we now know that 13 base 10 is the same as 1101 base 2. And the amazing thing is this works for really large numbers too. But just to recap, first of all we ask the question we asked the question, odd or even? And the answer here was odd. So the very first thing is one, odd or even, is the question. Then, if odd, we subtract one and three, we divide by 2 and 4 is actually we go round to here and do that again and we do it until we come to 0. Now believe it or not there's actually another way of doing this and uh, I'll just show you what that is quickly. So we just bring down the calculator we put in 13 and we ask for binary and we um, get the answer of 1101. That's a lot quicker, but not so easy to terrac.